Hey guys, it's Caroline and today I'm at this gorgeous villa on the Italian Riviera. I'm in Monte Rosso al Mare in the Cinque Terre and this is a family friends villa and it's absolutely gorgeous so I wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna do a walkthrough tour of it and tell you a little bit about the history of it and we'll start at the front door. I'm on the terrace right now which is my favorite spot in the house but I'm gonna start from the front door so you can have a full tour. Yeah, it just seems unreal. It's so, so beautiful. So, let's go. Okay, so this is the front pathway. Here's the front door. It's so beautiful. Just the front door itself is so gorgeous. So we'll walk in here. And the first thing you'll notice is the sea view through the archways there. So you just have a full sea view all the time here, which is so special. So this is the main area, but we'll start by going to the right here. And this is the kitchen. This house was built in the 60s, so you'll notice a lot of 60s flair in it. But it's a cute little kitchen. And yeah, just nice little accents. I love the tiles on the wall here. This stove is just... <laughs> right out of the 60s. This is a timer here, I think. So yeah, this is the kitchen area. And then we'll turn and across from the kitchen there's a guest bathroom here. So a nice little sink area. Hey. <laughs> and then toilet and bidet and some netting there. And some ship um, knots, but let me tell you something. There's a lot of nautical decor here because the owner of this house, the original owner, now his kids um, live in it, but the original owner, there's a picture of him over there on the wall. He was an official on the ship Andrea Doria that sank in 1956. He survived the sinking of the ship. He was on board when it sank. But yeah, this is his home, so he has a lot of little accents here that are nautical, so you can see like the railing there and as I pointed out, some other little nautical accents, so you'll see a lot of those throughout the house. So, this is the front entryway where I just was, kitchen on the left, guest bathroom on the right. If you turn, that goes downstairs, which we'll do after, and this is the main living room. They have a gorgeous fireplace on the left there, a big wooden dining table. And if you walk out this way, it's my favorite part. This is another dining area, but this is the best part, the terrace. So you can see it's like a 180 degree sea view. And down there you can see a beautiful view of Monte Rosso. And then if you turn this way, you can see all the umbrellas down on the beach there. And the blue water. I mean, it's just so blue today. It's gorgeous. And then you can see out in the distance. I mean, it might be a little hard. Let me see if I can zoom in. All the houses along the sea there. That's all part of Monte Rosso. And then you can barely see in the distance there. That's Bernazza. And that's... Cornelia and that's Manarola and then Rio Maggiore is on the end there. You can't really see today because it's not very clear, it's a little hazy, but you can see all four of the other towns of the Cinque Terre which is really really cool from up here. So um, yeah there's a nice table out here to have drinks and dinners and lunch and just hang out and these big doors open up to the terrace which is awesome. So we'll head back inside now and we'll go downstairs. All right, so this gate opens up to the stairs here. This is, I don't even know what these are, but they seem important. <laughs> Nautical decor. All right, so this is the downstairs area. And in here is the laundry room. This is just where Laundry gets done. There's also a toolbox and like a little tool table. So maybe they do some projects in here, take care of stuff. This is a super old heater and you put wood inside of there. 
to like get a fire going and heat up your house so I don't know what year that's from <laughs> but it's I have never seen one of those before and then here it shows you like the temperature of it so it's pretty fun to see really old things like that in the house so now we'll turn back this way and there are a couple bedrooms that way but we'll start over here this is a bedroom and this one doesn't have a sea view but it's still very cute then we'll go back out this way and we'll head into the bathroom i love this bathroom i actually posted a photo like a selfie in it the other day because the wall is so fun and the mirror and all of the decor in here is super fun and this looks like wallpaper but it's actually hand painted so this whole hey again this whole bathroom is hand painted all of those little flowers every little design you see I initially thought it was wallpaper, but then I got closer and it's definitely painted. So yeah, pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, so here we have the bidet, of course, the toilet. I love how ornate these are. They're like super fancy. <laughs> and then we have the mirror and I love these little crystals hanging off the lights here. Very fun. And the sink and the the little, I don't know, the sink table, <laughs> what do you call that? I think that's super funky and fun to have the sink inside of that. And then you turn this way, and this is something you'll never see in Italy, and it's a massive bathtub with a chair in it. <laughs> it also is a shower, so you can shower using that there, but it is a full-on tub, like you could fit five people in there. <laughs> it is so huge, you probably can't tell the scale of it, on camera but it is a massive tub <laughs> so then heading back out this way over here across the hall there's a little room with books in it and it also has a bed so I don't know if you have someone visit it's like a cute little guest room very small but cozy we'll head back out this way and head into this bedroom and this is my favorite room because I just love all the decoration in it. And the armoire with the fabric on it is so 60s. I love that. And then when you turn this way, you get the sea view right out your window, which is just amazing. So this is what you see looking out the window here. Not bad at all. So. Also, this mirror is super fun in here. I love it. It's so funky. Okay, so that is the bedroom. That's the full bedroom here. Okay, then heading back out this way. So that's the laundry room, and that's the first bedroom I showed you. Bathroom on the right, steps that way. And then that's the little room I showed you before just with one little single bed and then this is the final bedroom so you walk in this way you have some twin beds here again the fabric on the armoire I am loving it so I just love that accent here and again a gorgeous sea view out this window and you can hear the waves it's so magical so yeah, this is the final bedroom. And now we're gonna head back upstairs and outside because I'm gonna show you guys something pretty fun outside. So I'll see you once I'm up there. Okay, so we're back outside. That's the front door. And just next to the front door, there's a gate. And if you open this gate, you can go down these steps. And that's a cute little backyard area. You gotta keep walking this way down these steps by the way I love these steps they're each individually tiled each step has its own design I think that's so fun so yeah these steps I love okay another gorgeous view of the town I wish that parking lot wasn't there it kind of ruins the view but then anyways we continue this way around the corner and it's another full terrace with of course, we're in Italy. 
a pizza oven. So they put the wood under there, they burn the wood under there, and then it heats up the oven and they cook the pizza in there. So I think that's super fun. And once again, very Italian. So you can enjoy your pizza while you look at this insanely gorgeous view. And then there's a table over here. They have their wood pile there for the oven and a little cellar where they store wine and things like that. So that's the full house. The rest of the house is up there. So I will end the tour here. You've seen the full house now. Am I in focus? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys next time. Ciao for now.